What's going on everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for your PlayStation where today I'm going to tell you guys something that all of us PlayStation users are completely wrong about. And it actually has to do with input lag on both the PS5 and PS4 controllers. So what exactly is input lag? Well, it's measured by the time it takes for a button press on your controller to register as an action on your screen. So for example, when I press the X button on controller, the time it takes for the character to jump on screen is the input lag. Now, as you can imagine, Imagine the lower the input lag is, the better. You want to try to reduce it as much as possible, especially when playing games that require quick reflexes. And if input lag is too high, you're going to experience problems. Now, there's a very popular myth that you can actually reduce input lag by simply plugging in your PlayStation controller and switching it from Bluetooth to wired communication. And it makes sense because by doing this, you're eliminating potential inconsistencies and wireless interference by using a wired connection. But as it turns out, this is actually incorrect, and we are all completely wrong for assuming this. When it comes to using a PlayStation controller with a PlayStation console, you're actually better off using a wireless Bluetooth connection for the best performance. In fact, if you're using a wired connection with a PS4 controller, you're actually going to experience an increase in input lag. And that's because for whatever reason, the DualShock 4 reduces the default polling rate when using a wired connection. And this is a known issue for all PS4 controllers. But when it comes to using a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, the answer is a bit more interesting. A user of the PlayStation PlayStation subreddit actually ended up doing a pretty extensive test measuring the PS5's DualSense input delay. And turns out when it comes to the PS5 controller, it actually makes no difference. So whatever issue the PS4 controllers originally had seems to be completely fixed with the DualSense. Now based on all this information we currently have about both controllers, my best recommendation is to just stick with using Bluetooth on console and avoid using the wired communication feature altogether. And if you're looking to minimize input lag on your PlayStation, you're better off investing in a dedicated gaming monitor or simply switching your TV to game mode for better performance. But at least now you guys know the truth about controller input lag on PlayStation and a couple tips that you can use to fix it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next week.